Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here in the Pull Apart Salvage Yard. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what to look for in a salvage yard engine and transmission. Some vehicles are marked that at one time the engine was running. However, do a close inspection of the engine just to make sure. A lot of things can happen once a vehicle reaches a salvage yard. If you see standing water inside cylinder wells or spark plug wells, move on. The first thing I recommend you look for is vehicles that have been in a collision. You can reasonably assume the engine and transmission were running at the time the collision happened, and therefore there's a pretty good chance that those things are still operational. If you're inspecting an engine or transmission in a vehicle that's been in a collision, look closely at the mounting bosses and look for broken parts either on the cylinder head or where the engine or transmission mounts to the body. Inspect the oil pan and engine block for damage. If you see holes or pieces sticking out of the side of it like this one, it's definitely not the engine for you. If you see an engine with missing parts, you might want to move on and look for another one. Another check is to see if you can spin the crankshaft by hand. If you can't spin the crankshaft by hand, the engine probably can't move. Another thing to do is pull the dipstick. At the time I shot this video, I'd forgotten that they remove all the fluids from engines and transmissions when they place them out in the yard. Therefore, you're not gonna be able to check any kind of fluid levels. However, you can look for discoloration or signs of contamination on the dipstick that could indicate a problem with that engine or transmission. If you remove an oil cap and you see a crusty buildup like this, I'd say that's an engine to be avoided. Another tip, if possible, pull the spark plugs out of the engine and have a look at them. If you see abnormalities in the spark plugs, that's an engine to be avoided. Now looking at these plugs, you see this one here, how it's darker than the rest and has a little bit of residue on it? It's probably burning oil or something. I wouldn't choose this engine. Now automatic transmissions are a bit more tricky. They're up underneath the vehicle and difficult to access. One of the things you can do is pull the dipstick just like you did on the engine and once again inspect it for any discoloration, burn fluid, bad smells, that type of thing. But really, automatic transmissions are going to be a complete guess on your part as whether or not you want to use it. So proceed with caution when it comes to automatic transmissions. You can do a visual inspection of the outside of the transmission and look for leaks, but once again, you're really just guessing when it comes to automatic transmissions. There's very little you have to go on with manual transmissions, but you can get inside the vehicle, move the shift lever around and see if it moves smoothly. If it does, well, it could be a good transmission. Much like you did with the shift lever, operate the clutch and check for any binding or anything that might indicate that there could be a problem with the clutch mechanism. If there is, you might want to consider a different transmission. Much like automatic transmissions, look for leaks on the outside of manual transmissions. And if you see a bunch of them like this one, it might be something to be avoided. There is some risk associated with getting a used engine or transmission from the salvage yard. However, you can save a great deal of money by taking this approach. To help minimize some of that risk, Pull Apart offers a 30-day warranty on their used engines and transmissions. So I hope the tips in this video help you if you're going to the salvage yard looking for an engine or transmission. Now keep in mind, these things are in a salvage yard for a reason, and most likely there was some repair that exceeded the cost of the vehicle and that's why they're here. It could have been the engine or transmission that brought them to this place. Anyway, if you have automotive questions, I'd ask you to head to airatthecarguide.com. I'll put a link in the description to make things easy. If you wish to connect with me socially, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, also Instagram. I close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.